with us as we take you on our trip to Natchez, Mississippi, and give you a guided tour of the bed and breakfast, the Peter Hunter House. You know that Gothic Revival is one of our absolute favorite styles of home, and the 1859 Peter Hunter House is one of the finest examples in Natchez. We were lucky enough to make the acquaintance of the innkeeper and owner, Heidi, and she graciously hosted our stay while we were there. As soon as we walked in the front door, we felt right at home. Heidi's decorated the space in a light, airy, welcoming feel, still surrounded by historic elegance, but comfortable and inviting. The rooms are a mix of antiques and modern furnishings, which makes the space feel timeless and welcoming. Sunlight streams in through the original six over six hand-blown glass windows, giving the place an incredible ambiance and warmth. Are you having breakfast in bed? I am. I seem to be facing the wrong direction. <laughs> but I am having breakfast With in bed. With your curlers and your makeup? Yep. Just and your book on tape? I mean, what could be better? <laughs> Ghost stories and eggs in bed. <laughs> Heidi's delicious breakfasts are cooked made to order and can either be enjoyed in your room or at the dining table, whatever your preference may be. We're not coffee drinkers, so she made sure we had our beverage of choice in the morning. The Peter Hunter House has three stunning guest suites. Again, decorated in a mix of beautiful antiques and modern furnishings. The perfect mix of comfort, and history. The design and decoration of each of the rooms makes you feel at home right away. But one of our favorite spaces was the common space in the upstairs. This little study where you can read, pen a letter which feels incredibly appropriate while spending time in Natchez, or best of all, enjoy the second floor balcony which overlooks Union Street. It is the absolute perfect place to enjoy an early morning cup of coffee or an evening glass of wine. And let's be honest, the views really can't be beat. There's that Gothic Revival barge board and that arched window, which make this a beautiful example of, again, our favorite type of architecture. But what else is there to do in Natchez? More than you can imagine. Let's show you around. First, we have Stanton Hall. This masterpiece was built in 1857 by Frederick Stanton for a whopping $83,000 and takes up an entire city block. While you're there, don't miss dining at the Carriage House. Our favorite stop in Natchez, Longwood, otherwise known as Nuts Folly. The home was built by Haller Nutt. Construction began just before the Civil War and was meant to be a monument to Moorish design but the war came and construction stopped. How could you miss Brandon Hall, currently also serving as a bed and breakfast and event space. We've done a separate video entirely on Brandon Hall that you can't miss. And a little birdies told us that this home may soon be a private residence. So don't miss an opportunity to visit while you can. Outside of Natchez, is Melrose Plantation, one of the largest plantations in the United States to be built by and for free people of color. Louis Metellier, the son of Marie Therese Coyne Coyne, a former slave who herself became a wealthy businesswoman in the area, built the home in 1833. 
Monmouth was begun in 1818 as a simple timber structure and evolved over time to the Greek Revival masterpiece that you see today. One of our favorite stops is Rosalie. Built in 1823, it served as the architectural inspiration for a large number of Natchez's grand Greek Revival mansions and was a major influence on the antebellum architecture in the greater region. Built in 1855, Dunleaf is Mississippi's only surviving example of a Greek Revival home with a fully encircling colonnade. And while you're there, don't miss the fine dining opportunity and the English pub that now reside in the former stable. Once a year, you can enjoy Natchez Balloon Festival, where hot air balloons rise morning and evening over the Mississippi River. Daily carriage rides will get you up close and personal with the history of Natchez, as well as giving you a chance to scope out potential dining and shopping stops. Don't miss Natchez Under the Hill, and one of our favorite stops to eat, the Magnolia Grill. We'll admit, we eat there almost every night we're in Natchez. Once you've enjoyed dinner, you can walk along the bluffs and witness the breathtaking sunset over the Mississippi River. Join us in Natchez, one of the South's best kept secrets, a beautiful city full of welcoming people just waiting to invite you in to experience the past, the present, the art, and the culture of this beautiful Southern city. There's no place else like Natchez and no better place to stay while you're there than the Peter Hunter House Bed and Breakfast.